Good day, my name is Blue Suit, and today I'll be going over my review of the single player open world post apocalyptic gun fu adventure RPG known as Biomutant. In Biomutant, you play as a mutated rodent in a futuristic Earth devoid of the humans who ruined it. In their place is all manner of creatures who have not only developed their own languages, but have also learned to shoot guns and do kung fu. The story in Biomutant follows one such mutant on a quest to rediscover their past in order to save their future. Even though the world has already ended for humans, these mutants are now also facing their own extinction, as the Life Tree, whose existence seems bound to the planet itself, is being destroyed by four world-eating super beasts. Not only will you need to deal with these monstrosities, but also unite the divided tribes surrounding the tree and bury your family's past once and for all. Biomutant does feature a morality system that not only affects how the world sees you, but is also a primary factor in determining which ending you get when it's all over. The world that has been built and the overarching story in Biomutant are really fantastic, and the landscapes and music that accompany that are equally wonderful, and what exists is a world that you naturally want to explore, and that exploration is generally rewarded well with either gear upgrades or cool mini-boss fights. One of Biomutant's biggest misses, however, is in its delivery of this story. Almost every single line of dialogue is read by the game's narrator. Every thought, tutorial, spoken word, and warning, the same voice. And when in conversation with NPCs, you first listen to their Jabba the Hutt style gibberish language, and then the narrator comes in and translates afterwards. To add to this, a lot of the dialogue isn't really written very well anyway, and while quaint at first, quickly becomes a tiresome slog. It was a struggle for me because I was so invested in the lore, but I had to sit through hundreds of lines of this dialogue read by the same voice. Biomutant's combat merges gunplay and martial arts from several different weapon types. Every single melee weapon has the same combo inputs with different results, and the same is true for ranged weapons. For example, firing your weapon after a double jump will always activate your second ranged special attack, but performing it with pistols will launch your character forward, firing a burst of shots at the target enemy. But the same combo with the Netra Cry Grabbler will pull enemies up into the air, spin them around, and slam them back down to earth. If you are able to land three different combos in a single fight, you'll be able to go into Super Wung Fu, where you slow down time and are able to perform super moves or launch a volley of attacks at your vulnerable foes. There are a noticeable lack of weapon and Super Wung Fu special attacks that can make the combat feel very repetitive. Once you find weapons with the combos you like, you're just going to spam those combos until you can do your super and then unleash devastation, rinse, and repeat. Biomutant does also have Psy powers to mix up combat. Using your key energy, these spells will allow you to inflict ranged damage, toss your foes around with telekinesis, or teleport and levitate around the map. Again, the same as your weapon attacks, there are only 9 spells in the game and they have morality prerequisites on them, so you'll need to have enough light or dark points before you can buy them with Psy points. With the way the morality system works, it is still possible to unlock them all though. The thing that was most interesting to me regarding combat, however, is how little your stats seem to matter. Playing on normal difficulty, I never put a single point into any combat statistics in the entire game. Every time I leveled up, I only put points into my movement speed, and I still had no problem whatsoever killing bad guys, especially in the end game after I found my first ultimate weapon and I could kill entire non-World Eater bosses in one Super Wung Fu. Fire Mutant is definitely a casual gaming experience, and players who are looking for a challenge should definitely opt for hard difficulty. I do, however, wish that there was a way to respec in Biomutant, as I have now moved on to New Game Plus, and it would be fun to try something different on my second playthrough without actually starting over. Biomutant's crafting system is about on par with its combat. Yes, there are tons of loot to find and combine into cool weapons and armor that you can then upgrade, and no two characters will look alike, and that's awesome. But because you find so much loot so often, even if you take the time and spend the resources to create something, there's a good chance you're going to come across something better in the next hour anyway. In the entire playthrough, I don't think I found a piece of gear that I kept for longer than two hours until I was at the very end when I started getting ultimate gear. It's a cool and functional system, but far too expensive and time consuming to be practical. The last thing that I want to talk about is Biomutant's quest design. There are a handful of fun and unique quests in the game, but for the most part you go from quest giver, follow map marker to objective, then fast travel back to quest giver. It's such robotic progression that really waters down the enthusiasm that I have for the backstory of Biomutant. This continues through the game's roughly 15 hour campaign and the additional side quests, and I found that the most fun that I had was just in setting off on my own to explore sections of the map that I hadn't been to yet. 
Especially once you get your resistances up to 100%, you can start doing the uninhabitable places where extra tough bosses exist to give you great loot, loads of experience, or that one time I found I could change the way I look by spending my hard-earned bio points. You can pick up Biomutant right now on Steam for $60, and although it is a great beat-em-up RPG with a gorgeous world filled with guns and kung fu, its flat storytelling and lack of overall longevity do hold it back from being worth full price. As I said, it does have about a 15 hour main campaign and probably an additional 20 plus hours of side content if you were to experience everything that Biomutant has to offer. However, after a couple dozen hours, the repetitiveness of the combat and weariness of the narration really begin to sour an otherwise fun and exciting game, so I'm valuing Biomutant at $44. It's a fun game that most players are going to enjoy, but I recommend that you wait for a sale that justifies its purchase first or prepare to feel a little bit let down. I hope you enjoyed this review of Biomutant. Come see me on Twitch where you can watch our reviews in progress five nights a week. As always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and let me know in the comments what you thought about it. Until next time, peace!